Hi, I'm Derek Diedrichson for Tiny Yellow House in conjunction with Make Magazine here in my redneck backyard yet again, where today we'll be showing you how to make a phantasmagorically pulse quickening enthralling passive solar heater, which is actually none of those things. I just slapped on some adjectives so as to make it sound more exciting and probably failed miserably. <laughs> So looking at the skyline, the leafless trees, and me and my Sunday best, you're probably thinking what imbecile in the right mind would build a passive solar heater in the dead of winter here in New England. Hey! No, basically I'm not a fan of paying utility companies any more than I have to, so when possible I suggest that you harness the power of the sun. The basic idea, black surfaces collect heat, enclosed glass boxes retain it, and incline heaters send that heat northward into one's home. Free heat, pretty high tech, huh? Of course, if you want high tech, we can give you that. As for how we built this, it's really simple. I took four big old wide planks. I want a deep collector here. Built those into a rectangle with screws. Slapped on a piece of plywood on the bottom. I painted the whole interior black. You want to use flat black paint. Glossy black paint actually reflects some of the heat and you lose some of the heat, so flat black paint. You lay a pane of glass here. You can use one store-bought, you can use plexiglass, or you know something you find street side for free. Heat's collected here. It's doubly intensified by this little add-on piece I have here, this mirror. So the sun's rays hit here, are reflected downward, and you have the direct hit from the sun here. So you're kind of getting twice the heat. Heat collects in here. As it travels, because hot air rises, it heads to the higher part of the collector. This is all built at an angle, and travels through a couple drilled holes we have, and through a little baffle system, sending some heat into the foyer I have here, which is unheated and the reason I built this. Now I went a step further and built this little cap for it, figuring in the summer when you don't want to collect heat, you don't want to roast out your house, this part drops down. If you were to make it more level, it'd be a tabletop too. But by dropping this, you're shading the heat collecting area and not cooking your home in the summer. A couple hinges here that I found recycled off some throwaway cabinetry. Little adjustable stick here to angle this in different ways to reflect the sun different times of the day onto the collector. Feed me, feed me. Again, the key is painting things black. If I had to do a little more to this, I would paint these black as well. By the way, side note, if you want to retain some additional heat by means of thermal mass, take some simple rocks, spray paint them flat black, and fill your collector with them. And as they absorb the sun's rays, they will slowly release the heat later in the night when temperatures drop even further. This is a simple little baffle system here based on heat and pressure differentials. When the solar collector, the passive solar collector heats up and the hot air expands, it pushes air through here and blows this open. At night when it gets colder here in the house or in the foyer, and the air in here is hotter than outside, it pushes the paper this way and uh, effectively closes the gap or the leak so you don't lose heat. And see that? almost a 50 degree difference in the winter. Not too shabby. Again, I'm Derek Diedrichson for Tiny Yellow House in conjunction with Make Magazine. Thanks for joining us and I will see you later.